This video, produced by World Coffee Research, is part of a five-part series supporting the Uganda Coffee Development Authority, Colono Robusta Coffee Nursery Manual, for establishment of coffee nurseries. After the cuttings have been successfully rooted, hardening takes place to acclimatize them to changing environment outside the cage. Hardening involves the gradual step-by-step -step exposure to sunlight, starting with addition of a few hours of sunlight each day and reduction of the frequency of watering without allowing plantlets to wilt. The plantlets are kept in the hardening shed until they are 7 to 8 months old and ready for field planting. The plantlets in the hardening shed are watered at least 2 to 3 times a week. The shed is completely removed during the last week prior to planting. The mature plantlets that have been sorted out are transferred to a hardening cage will still remain under the 70 to 80 percent shed net cover. Under this shed, hardening commences with varying levels of exposure of plantlets to direct light at different intervals. The process of hardening consists of light watering and gradual reduction of overhead shade. This will reduce stress when planting in the field. After the first exposure of the plants to the most sun, the clones will sit under 40 to 50 percent shade net and eventually the shade net is completely removed and the plants are fully acclimatized to open space weather. Plantlets in the hardening shed require fertilizers to grow well. A good nutrition plan responds accordingly to the soil analysis and the needs of the plants depending on their age and variety. Make sure to inspect the plants for nutritional deficiencies to ensure you can spot them in time and make any necessary corrections to the nutrition plan. Transportation outside of the nursery is the final stage after the plantlets have completed their hardening phase. Loading, delivery and dispatch of coffee clones may cause stress to and in some cases the death of the plantlets. When stress is experienced by clones in infancy, it can affect the vigor of the plant and actually impact its subsequent growth. With this in mind, a wooden box has been specially designed to minimize injury and stress while loading and dispatch of your young seedlings. To learn more about the establishment of Clono Coffee Nurseries, you can consult the Clono Robusta Coffee Nursery Manual from UCDA. Remember, the hardening phase comes after the rooting phase. During the hardening phase, plantlets grow and prepare themselves to combat the stress of planting and eventually become vigorous producing plants. <music>